Hey everyone, in this video I am going to be bringing you not an unboxing, but unfortunately a rant. Um, today is May 21st, 2024, and uh, got the complete series of the Powerpuff Girls on DVD, which came out today. Um, you know, I, I got it in the mail on release day, ordered it from Amazon, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I got it, I was excited to open the package, and... Um, I think you all can see pretty obviously why I'm a little bit annoyed here. So, um, and that of course is this black line that goes right across here. This is obviously an error, pretty obviously. Um, the if you look at the uh, the the old release of this, that line was never there. And if you look at the um, you know like the pre-release images that are out on the internet and stuff, this line is not there. And it's just so obvious that it's an error because you know, it goes right over the logo, and it's just, it's weird. I mean, at the very least, at the very least, it's, like, symmetrical, so there's that, but, like, that's not supposed to be there. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to open this. I'm going to show you guys what, what we have here, but I'm not going to open it, um, because I don't want to keep it. This, this, this is ridiculous. So, so here's the thing. I'm usually the type of person who, um, you know, I, I kind of have this uh, beggars can't be choosers mentality. And so if companies are releasing something at all, even if it's a pretty lazy release, I mean, I'll, I'll usually wave my hands a little bit and be like, all right, you know what? It's kind of lazily put together, but hey, at least we got it. And that's a good thing. And if this wouldn't have been here, this would have been a pretty positive review of this. I'm pretty sure. Um... I did see another unboxing of this on YouTube today before watching this and, you know, saw what's inside and, you know, it, 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 it gets a pass from me, um, but that's unacceptable. So, like, here's the thing. Let's pick out some of the lazy things about this, not counting this, right? So, this Powerpuff Girls Complete series was released a long time ago, like 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago or something like that as like a 10th anniversary set that I had, and I say had because you guys have seen seen it in my collection videos. I did recently just sell it because of this one coming out. Um, I don't regret selling it because there were some problems with that one that I didn't like that this one actually fixes. Uh, the main problem with that one was that they used the double-sided discs, so that set came with six double-sided discs, whereas this one comes with 12, you know, just regular single-sided discs. Um, and as I understand, it's the exact same content on these discs, which there's your kind of lazy point number one, which is, like, to me, it's like, is that a huge deal? Not necessarily. It's, you know, they basically, all this is is a, is a repackaging of it. It's not a new release. But that's kind of the problem, right? Because it's like, well, why not put a, put some good effort into making something that's really nice, right? It's, it's... And it's another, it's a case of knowing your market, too. Like, the folks at Warner Brothers, and you know, a lot of other studios as well that release physical media, it's like, the market is changing slash changed for who's buying physical media. It's not your run-of-the-mill person who's going to a store and, oh, oh, I just see a movie on the shelf, maybe I'll pick that up or something. It's like, nobody's doing that anymore. Most of the regular, you know, run-of-the-mill consumers of physical media have switched over to streaming. So who's left? It's the collectors. It's that niche market of people like me and other people who just love to collect physical media. And it, and you know, we're a much smaller audience, but we're willing to pr pay a pretty penny for quality. So I don't know why they keep doing lazy releases like this. And like I said, again, I wouldn't, I, this would be getting a generally positive review, but this is ridiculous. I'm going to get to this in a second, but let's just talk about the other things first. So the, this is a repackaging. The artwork is the exact same, you know, pretty much as the original release. There's a few things that have changed. Like, I think the, you know, the spine might look a little bit different. So does this. I think the back looks pretty much exactly the same. And then the inside artwork for this box set is pretty much the same as a slipcover. I do know from watching the other unboxing of this that... You know, if you take this case out and look at it, it will have the same artwork as the front, but without that black line. So that's how you know it's, you know, almost certainly an error. 
Um, and then as I understand, the inside of it is, um, it, it's okay. It's got your 12 discs with artwork that's, I don't know, it's just, I don't remember what it is, it, but it has a little bit, and then it has at least an insert with an episode list, as far as I understand. So that's pretty good. Uh, but otherwise, it's, you know, it's pretty plain. So, but like I said, I would be able to run with that. Um, but this is this black line thing is unbelievable. Because guess what? Because this is what they did, right? Like, it's, like, what did they do? I I thought when I opened this, when I got this in the mail and I opened the package, that, hey, I maybe I'm alone on this. Maybe it's just me. But then I saw the other YouTube unboxing. You know, there's, it's got to be everybody, right? It, I mean, it could be that there's just a, a small selection of these that had this error and maybe nobody knows about it. But I think it's, it's got to be all of them, I would think. But anyways, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't change the fact that like whether it's an isolated thing or if it's a widespread thing, like where's your quality control for this, guys? Um, it's unbelievable because like I paid almost 60 bucks for this. This, and I paid 60 bucks for something that's been available, you know, it's just repackaged. It's the same thing that's been av available and then out of print for, you know, like 20 years or whatever, almost 20 years. Um, so I'm paying a pretty penny for it. And then, you know, we get this. It's, it's unbelievable. Like, you gotta know, these companies need to know their audience. And take some time, and, like, this, is, this, this whole reason for making this rant is I just want to make the point that lazy releases like this, like... People like me will pay a nice pretty penny for something that, you know, whoever's releasing it actually put some good time and effort into making a quality product that's worth investing in. That's the whole thing about this, you know, and I, I just don't know what they're doing, you know. So this, I'm drawing a line with this kind of stuff right here. I'm sending this back. I... I'm going to wait and see if they get, you know, if they fix this. I want to see if they're going to fix this, you know, in the next shipments or whatever. And hopefully I'll buy another one. I mean, if it, if it goes in, you know, and it's a really, really long time and it becomes obvious they're not going to fix it, well, I guess I'm going to bite the bullet and buy one anyways. But, you know, this is unbelievable because, like, they had, you know, they had to have seen this and then, looked at it and been like, oh, yeah, good enough. We'll just we'll just ship it anyways. You know, not a big deal. People are going to buy it anyways. We're just going to ship it. It's even though it's got this ugly line. It's it is just laziness at the core and it's unacceptable. So anyways, I think that's enough. Um for anybody that uh yeah, I just wanted to make this video to talk about this and, and share with you guys, hey, this is what you can expect if you're buying this um, with this complete series of the Powerpuff Girls on DVD, which just came out on May 21st, 2024, as a repackaging of what has been available for a long time, although it was out of print for a long time as well. So, you know, get it if you want, I guess. If you don't care about that and you're just dying to have it, well, yeah, go, go have at it, but... Uh, I'm personally going to send this back and um, wait a little while and see what's going to what could happen with this. I hope that they'll do the right thing and uh, you know um, I don't know if, if doing a recall for the slipcover would be the best way to go about it or whatever, um, or if they're just going to you know it, at the very least fix the error and then whatever future um, batches I guess they produce. You know, fix the error, and then I'll buy one of those, but, yeah, so, very disappointing, um, but I just wanted to make a video to talk about it, and hopefully, you know, maybe somebody at uh, Warner Brothers and other studios out there, other places that make, uh, you know, physical media and have been doing a lazy job, see this and take it as a moment to, you know, kind of check yourselves and be like, hey, we need to actually take our time and put some quality into the products that we're releasing because the audience is not the same as it was 10 years ago. You know, it's a, it's a smaller audience and it's an audience that's willing to pay for quality. You got to got to send out a quality product. That's the whole thing. Um a positive about the packaging other than that obvious thing is I actually do kind of like that they used a slip box for this versus a uh, you know, just a slip cover. So that was kind of cool to see, I guess. 
Um, seems nice and sturdy. But like I said, yeah, this error, not acceptable in the least bit for the price that I paid for it. So I'm going to send that back, but I just want to make a video to kind of show you guys what you might be getting if you order this right around now. Hopefully they fix it and, uh, you know, fix that up, you know, hopefully they will. And if they do, that'll be awesome. Because um, I do want to support companies like Warner Brothers and everybody else that's making, still making physical media because I like physical media quite a bit and I do want to support things like this coming out and Dexter's Laboratory is coming out soon and I'm pretty excited for that and um, I've, been, I've been happy with a lot of the other releases that have been uh, coming out in, in the recent past like Courage the Cowardly Dog, the Complete C Series and stuff. The Ed, Ed, and Eddie series was kind of, uh, that, that had some flaws too, but another one of those beggars can't be choosers sorts of things. At least they, re they released it, but yeah. I draw an error, I draw a line with this kind of uh, laziness, so. All right, that's enough for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, or at least found it informative. And um, we'll see you in the next video.